So Randlin got off of work and we were supposed to meet up with a buyer. Uh, somebody bought something on eBay and did local pickups, so we're supposed to meet somewhere else, but then that got canceled and now he wants us to come to a different location, which is fine, I don't mind that. So yeah, that's getting dropped off, but we're cruising down the road and we found an estate sale. Just random and I'm like, oh, it closes at four o'clock. It's now 3.51, I just got done. We got there at about 3.35 found some really good stuff I'll have to show you and uh, their prices were really good because everything was 50% off and then they were negotiating on top of that so I ended up getting stuff way cheaper than I was supposed to so I'll show you that and I'll show you some of it or some of our adventures along the way because this was just supposed to be a random trip and now it turned into an adventure so you guys get to see it So we had to make a pit stop to grab some coffee and use the facilities because, yeah, we're old. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you this stuff real quick while I can. So I got the porcelain enamel with the lid. They had it at 20. They had this big one at 25. They had this one at 20 and this one at 20. They had the duck decoy at $30 and they had these at $12 a piece. Well, everything was 50% off. So that's what, 80, there's uh, 85, yeah, I can't do math. 85, 100 and some change. So yeah, 100 and some change. Yeah, 24, 55, or 54 would be total. Plus 85, you guys do the math. I'm not gonna do it. I got all of it for 36 bucks. They worked a heck of a deal with me. So I think I did all right. These usually sell between 15 to 25 a piece on eBay. This, these are about 15 to 20, 15 to 20, 15 to 20, maybe even 10. So I might be losing money on this one. But the rest of these, these are for Randlin. I got both of those for six bucks, that for 10, and all this for 20, so I spent $36. And like I said, I can't do math because I'm not the brightest cookie in the world. So 85, there's $99 right there. 99 plus 30 is uh, $129. So there you go, $129 worth of stuff for 36 bucks. I thought it was a pretty good deal because I know this probably goes for about 75. They had it at 30, I would have paid 30 for it, but if I can get it for 10, that's even better. I don't usually go down the interstate very often unless I have to. Reason being, I'm doing 75 and a 70, and I have had cars passing me like well past 100 mile an hour, weaving in and out of like four o'clock traffic. It's gonna get heavier. But what is the point of that? I mean, if you're on the back country road and you're doing 100 plus, that's cool, because you're in the middle of nowhere. The only person you're gonna kill is yourself. I don't get people. Why do you have to drive like that? I mean, now the semi just cut that guy off because that guy was doing about 85 to 90. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, one thing's for sure, if I do get killed because these people are driving crazy, look at that sunset. Isn't that gorgeous? At least I get to enjoy that, right? That is absolutely beautiful. I just love driving in the evening. Nice little covered bridge on the walking trail back there. That's pretty cool. I like seeing stuff like that. I've seen it a bunch of times, but I've never got a chance to actually film it because I was always in the limo when I was driving and I didn't have a YouTube channel at the time. So, <laughs> and every time I get up this way since then, I keep forgetting it's there. But yeah, one of these days we're gonna get to, what is it? Ooh, deer, that was, wow. Um, we're gonna get up to Door County, Wisconsin, and we're gonna show you all the covered bridges up there because my mother loves covered bridges and I want to see a bunch of them. So one of these days, I mean, it's a big old neighborhood out in the middle of nowhere. But anyways, yeah, we're going to show you some real covered bridges one of these days, hopefully. So I made my delivery. Very happy eBayer. Or yeah, very happy eBayer. He was um, beyond happy that I could deliver that for him. Usually I don't go to people's homes, so that was a little weird, but the guy was really nice. So. Um, the only way I could get Randlin to come along, she is here. How did I get you to come along? I'm going to go get some Chick-fil-A. You're going to get Chick-fil-A. That's the only way I could get her to come along today was to promise Chick-fil-A. Or as her mother likes to call it, Chick-fil-ing. Which is a really good restaurant. They just put one in Janesville, so it's going to be busy. Check this out, though. The Rock River right there. I think that's the Rock River. That is awesome. Just beautiful crystal clear water or not crystal clear but crystal smooth look at glass smooth 
absolutely beautiful. You hear all my pans rattling in the background that I just got. Look at that river. That is beautiful. See, I need to, we, we used to live on the river. I wish we still did, but nah, I want to I get a lake house or have my own big pond, AKA moat. That's a big barn, wow. So yeah, right on the river. That's just beautiful. So we're gonna head back towards uh, the Janesville area because we're just outside of Janesville. So we're gonna head back to Janesville, get her some chick fil and make a couple other stops along the way. We might show you, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Because uh, we're probably gonna be sitting in line at the Chick-fil-A for an hour and a half. I don't know, we have to see. See you in a second. Oh sure, as soon as I turn off the camera, it opens up. Look at that. That is beautiful, the sky reflecting off that perfect water. Ah, oh, I love it. So we got to the Chick-fil-A and it's not as busy as I thought it would be. Last time we came out here, they had police and they had cars all the way back there. It was crazy. So now we're going inside because I'm not waiting in the drive-thru. I like to eat inside. I'm cheap like that. So we went to the Chick-fil-A and then we went to this place called Woodman. This is a grocery store about the size of a mall. I'm watching. I was watching. That's why I stopped. But this place, I almost hit the pole rental and thought. But yeah, this place that starts there goes all the way down here. Down way back there. So this is the size of a mall. You know how hard it is to find groceries in that place? And what's really cool is their grocery carts have cell phone holders for us YouTubers. Too bad it aims the camera wrong. But anyways. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, man, that place is dirt cheap. Better than Walmart. Yes, I'm going to diss on Walmart because I can. But uh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff for, well, not a bunch of stuff, but way cheaper than the cost is at Walmart. But man, this place is enormous. I mean, seriously, it's bigger than the mall in Rockford. Yay. So we're finally headed back home. We left the uh, grocery store and then we went over to my buddy's rock shop, rock and mineral shop. Did some stuff there and then we had to stop at the gas station and now we're heading home. No, we gotta go to the pet store. Oh yeah, we still gotta go to the pet store. I forgot about that. We need to get crickets for our lizard. It's uh, only 6.44 at night, so we should get there around 7.44. They close at nine. We got what, 100 crickets for five bucks or something no, like that? No, we're only getting two dozen. Only getting two dozen? What happened to the 100 for five bucks? Oh well. So we're getting some crickets for our lizard because Fred needs to eat and then we're going home so yeah hopefully there's some nice adventures on the way home otherwise we'll see you in a second i love coming this way because there's this big old farmhouse this was built in the er, uh, mid 1800s that is a beautiful farmhouse i actually love that place but you know it's too close to the civilization for me so but yeah if i could find something like that ooh, i would be a happy man happen man we are back in town and we are heading to the pet store it just opened up they've been in they've been opened up for a while but they just finally opened to the public uh, what two days ago a couple days ago yesterday yesterday okay see that's how, how much I know but they're gonna be staying open till 9 o'clock which is awesome because we used to have another pet store and the guy closed down because he said for some reason nobody's shopping here well because you closed at 5 and then you didn't, um, your prices were too high. Yeah, so nobody ever went because it was too expensive. And on top of that, it was never open where people could go. So this place is kind of smart, even though nine o'clock is a little too late for this town. I mean, you can see how dead it is. It's 7.35 at night, and this is the downtown area. We don't have a downtown area. It's dead, it's nothing. When I was a kid, It'd be bustling all day and all night because that used to be a movie theater. There was a bunch of bars there. But anyways, yeah. Now this is all just empty buildings or I don't even know. It's just empty buildings and I think some, some apartments. But other than that, nothing. So, yeah, because all these are like a couple of stories tall. But there's absolutely nothing in them and they're actually going to waste. So we're going to go check out this new pet store and I'll show you what we got when we get there. So here's the pet store. They got a lot more in. They got quail right here. I want button quail. They're so cute, little bitty things. And I think they have a yeah, big old bearded dragon over here. He's pretty. 
but yeah we uh last time we came here there was barely anything here but it was still closed so now they're open you got whiny pigs and we got rabbits right up front look at how big they are it's pretty woody i like that brown one back there so yeah we're gonna go inside and see what they got and we're not gonna buy anything i promise this time we're gonna come to the fish first because they're uh vacuuming in the other room but look at the size of these oscars good lord look at this monster Man, they got some cool animals right off the bat. Look at the size of those Oscars. That's huge, just like a 100 gallon tank. Yeah, we got more fish back here. Love the dragon. <laughs> cichlids, and more African cichlids, and a bunch of uh, sword tails. Those are pretty. Those are what, um, I don't remember what those are. I think they're something blood, but I don't remember. What do we got in here? Ooh! Is that real? That's not real. I'm gonna find out if that's real. Nope, that's not real. I thought I was a real frog. I'm like, what? Not a real frog. What have they got in here anyway? I don't know. It doesn't say. It says there's bullfrogs and fiddler crabs, but I don't see any of them. I'd like to get a fiddler crab. Look at the tiny guppies. Hmm. I want a bullfrog. That would be awesome. Oh, there's a crab right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. A little bitty crab. Let me zoom in. There he is. Get that and keep my tank clean. I need one of those. Those are kind of cool. I like fiddler crabs. They're fun. Might have to get one. Well, no, no more animals. No more animals. <laughs> they got some good fish. Lots of fish. This used to be a thrift store, so this is kind of funny that now the thrift store I used to come to, or I'm sorry, it was like an antique mall kind of, or antique kind of store. And we got goldfish, but yeah, now it's a pet store. Two of my favorite stores in the world. Thrift store, pet store. Yeah! <laughs> Can't beat that. Let me go up here and look. Still vacuuming. Ooh, we got, I see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ball python, 140 bucks. You can go down to uh, PetSmart and get them for 40. And we got, oh, look at this one. Oh, the female Russo, not for sale. Dang it. You got lizards over there. On the other side, you see the ball python? Mm-hmm. Lizards, lizards everywhere, lizards. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me again. Sorry, guys. Ooh, they got a scorpion. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. They got the Mexican striped knee tarantula. See, these are the fun ones. Red crested gecko. Where is he? I'll find him later. There's a beautiful uh, beardy that's not for uh, sale, but you can feed the bearded dragon. Not for sale. Saltwater tank. I don't know what's over here. I think a turtle of some kind. But wow, this place is set up great. I like this. This is a good store. And I'll show you the other side here in a minute. Look at that frog. Not for sale. Man! But we can order them. And then they got hermit crabs, which I don't think they have any in yet. Yeah, they do. I don't know which ones are which, but hey. Cool. I guess they got some red Aki monitors, which are very rare. Little bitty guys, but they're $475 each. They are gorgeous. But anyway, Robert, that's a pretty one. They got a couple of weasels down here. More bunny Roberts. They got a kitty cat there. And there's another one over here. And this is the supply side. But they do have more fish right there. This is not a bad store at all. They want us to bring the pig in. That ain't gonna happen. Look at all the fish. Look at the kitty. Hello, kitty. I really need to get a big tank. Bigger than what I already have. I need like a 600,000 gallon tank. That'd be, I mean, this a small one. Put sharks in it. Oh, look, a hairless gerbil. Or is that a rat? No, that's I, a hairless rat. I don't know. I love rats, and I used to have hairless rats. They got more in the corner. I used to actually have hairless rats. I had two, a male, a female, and then I had a silky female. And these are the cleanest pets you'll ever own. They are so sweet. I love pet rats. They're awesome. Look at the moth. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Wow. Those are cool. 
you know, the pupa right there. Beautiful. So we're headed home because we went to the pet store and guess what we got, guys? You're never gonna guess. Crickets. That's it. Only a bag of crickets. We got lucky, right? We didn't buy any other pets even though we wanted scorpions and tarantulas. I want a snake. No, she said no. I want scorpions and tarantulas. They got a bird-eating tarantula in there. Oh. That is beautiful. And we used to feed my friends goldfish. <laughs> Anyways, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I know I said that was the last of the video, but if you can see through my dirty windshield, they put all the Christmas lights up here downtown, even though it's not even Thanksgiving yet. And it says Noel up here. And I always miss this stop sign right here because when that light's green, I just drive through because it's green. So this time I actually stopped. So yeah, it's actually really cool. They got all the Christmas lights out downtown. So they're ready for the holidays. I don't like the snow. <laughs>